Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so don't just don't throw me under the bus here. <laughs> All right, good morning everybody. Welcome to uh 2023-2024 season of the Vodacom United Rugby Championship. Um we have our director of rugby, uh, Jake White. And uh, the team, the Vodacom Bulls team that will take on Scarlets is as follows. At one, Gerard Stienkamp. Um, Stiena Kamp. At two, Johan Robla. At three, Wilco Lowe. At four, Ruan Vermark. At five, Ruan Nokia. At six, Marcel Kutsier. Seven, Elrich Lowe. At eight, Cameron Hanekom. At nine, Ambrose Papir. Johan Hussein at ten. Stravino Jacobs at eleven. Harold Foster at twelve. David Grill at thirteen. Sebastian de Klerk at fourteen and Devon Williams at 15. The impact squad sees Aka van der Meve at 16, Simpio Matanzema at 17, Morne Smith at 18, Reynard Ludwig at 19, Nizam Ka at 20, Zach Berger at 21, Jakob van der Waalt at 22, and Stedman Hans completes the match day 23. Um, colleagues online, we will come to you as soon as we are done with the colleagues who are here in person. So Ashfaq, please hold for me. Thanks. Um, Jake, oh, just the, first of all, the back three. I mean, obviously, mm. Kevin and Sebastian have played together quite a bit. Uh, Stravina, you're obviously looking to get that sort of continuity out of them as well. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, you saw when I played a friendly last week, Brennan, and uh, I mean, the value of having those two have played many times together. Um, you know, and Hurson and Ambrose played together, so, and Stravina has been part of a back line, maybe not with those two guys outside him, but he's been part of a back line with. Ambrose and and John Johan Hussen and so yeah I mean it's exactly that I think that try and try in the beginning try and get a couple of combinations going but as I said to you during the week I also want to try and be brave and and try different things you know it would have been easier just to keep guys that played last year but I think it's also time to try different combinations. Your selection of Cameron Hanekom just um, yeah look I mean he's uh, I'm sure you guys know him well I mean he played really well in that under twenty tournament when he was a SA under twenty player I think he's one of the top players of the tournament. He was a bit, uh, you know, got injured last year. He was unlucky with an injury last year, but he was playing really well. And he's worked hard in the preseason, you know, and uh, he offers us something different. Um, he's very quick, very explosive. Um, and I'd like to see how he gels with a, with a senior pack. You know, he's obviously a youngster. He's just come out of the junior grades, but uh, quite keen to see how he gels with the senior boys around him. You know, Marcel, Bulko, Grubis, you know, a couple of senior guys now, so... Quite keen to see how he does when he plays with you know with that caliber of player. I was going to ask you just on your signings from the season, you've got more than enough options probably now at fullback. If you think of everybody who can play fullback um, mm, mm. In, in your signing, Yaku obviously can and Johan Kersen can and mm. and uh, just your playing going down. Are you looking at guy like Henry Immelman mm. in outside centre and and uh, when what's his name comes back, Kanan? Kanan, yeah. Also outside yeah, look, I, I think again one of the things that you've seen the last couple of years is try and swap guys around. I just just because I think that's the way the game's going. You know, I've said it many times and I'll say it again. Four fullbacks played for Australia in one back line. You know, Matthew Burke, Larkham, you know, Latham, Joe Roff, all in one back line. So it's not, it's not like I'm reinventing the wheel. It's happened before where you can put that calibre of player together. And whether Kanan plays 13 and David goes to 12 or whether Kanan goes to wing and Willy goes to fullback or... You know, whether Willie, go, uh, Willie goes to wing and, and Devon starts at fullback. You know, that's the kind of, uh, I suppose, combinations I'd look at. And, and, and I repeat myself when I say to you, Bren, I think last year I was probably a bit weary of making a couple of changes. I, I think the season's so long now. You sort of think at the end of the year, we play in the final, my back line will be, you know, A, B, C, D, E. The chances are it's not going to be like that because you get an injury or you, you know, if something happens. So you might as well try and try and different things now. Um, and hopefully by the time the end of the season comes, you, you feel confident with any person you put into that position. Just on um, the injuries, you spoke a bit this week about Giannis and Vier. Mm. Um, who else is at the moment from your squad um, coming back? Or? Well, they're the only... So, Jacques Duplessis, long-term, Miller Ace, long-term. I'm talking about as in being out yeah. for a while and still going to take a while. Uh, Giannis had operation yesterday, so, I mean, again, I'll wait to hear how it went. But, I mean, I, I think minimum it was like four or five months anyway. Uh, VAE has gone in for an operation during the week. Again, probably two, three months, you know. So those are the extended ones. And then the guys like Mpilo, Gumeri, probably back in about a week or two. Kutu um, Manchu's Goethe's pec muscle. I mean, toys pec muscle. But he looks like he's ahead of schedule. 
Um, and I'm hoping, you know, by the end of sort of December, hopefully by the end of December, he's back as well. So those are guys that I'm not really considering now. And that's, again, probably why I'm, I'm quite happy to try different things because when Gumedi comes back and when, you know, Enemelman also, like, you know, Enemelman, but when he comes back and Giannis comes back, hopefully it's before the end of the season and then I get some reinforcements uh, to strengthen our squad. Jake, um, the core of your tight five is still the same, with the exception of Volker Lowe. Yeah. Um, will we see a different scrum performance from the f- from Bulls this year? I mean, it was a yeah. bit, somewhat a bit of a problem last year. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting when you say it's almost the same. It's completely different because when you bring Volker Lowe in, it's like I mean, it's like it's like uh, yeah, it's like a godsend, you know. And uh, I think the other thing we mustn't underestimate is the value that Harry Stenenkamp got last year in the end of year or the middle of the year in that tour, I almost feel like it's the end of the last year, but it was middle of this year when he went and played against uh, Argentina and he played so well in that test match and scrummed well. So, yeah, I've got no doubt that with Wilco and with the experience that Gerard had in the test arena, that our scrum's going to be much stronger. You know, I mean, as I said, we, we, we're looking good in terms of having Akker van Amerva on the bench and Mornay Smith on the bench and obviously some Piwe on the bench, you know, or Dylan Smith on the bench. It's not... Not too many franchises that can have the luxury of having that caliber of player uh, in, on their bench as well. So, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping and I'm confident that our scrum will be stronger. Okay, and then in 13, you got specialists like Stedman, Hans and Lionel, um, but you, you preferred... Um, David. Uh, David, yeah. do you think that's his, his position going forward? Well, I think, I don't know if 13 is his position, but I think the fact that he can play 12 and 13 is, is important for me. Because in last year... What happened was when Harold couldn't play the first couple of games, he played 12. Um, and when I look at our back line, Kanan can go to 13, David can go to 12. I'm just using Vili can go to fullback. Kirtley plays on the wing. You know, Stravino can play on the other wing. Immelman can play on the wing. Sergio Peterson can play on that wing. So yeah, I, I, I think, you know, David is good enough to make our team. And I've got to find a way in which I can keep him in the team. You know, he's, he's one of the guys we brought through for a long time. I don't know how many games he has now, but I would be very surprised if it's less than 50. And it's time now that he, you know, that he, well, not time now. It's uh, important for me not to, you know, all the investment is not to not to not use that investment. Okay, and then last one for me, Jakob van der Waal, this guy with international experience. Mm. Are, you, mm. are you happy with his... Well, the one thing he does do for me, which I'm very happy, is he covers more than 10. You know, as, as Brendan says, he can play fullback. You know, so that means that, you know, it's not take nothing away. When we had Mornay Stain and Chris Smith, you have to change for, for 10 for 10. Uh, what it does now with, with Gerson and with, and with uh, Yaku is you can leave Gerson at 10 if he's playing well and you can put Yaku somewhere else. It's not, a, it's not like you're restricted to only playing, uh, you know, him at 10. Um, and that's... You know, that's the nice thing about having him on the bench. It just gives you a little bit more variation in terms of where you need him. But he's been training well. As you say, he's international. He's played international rugby. So to have him on the bench, like the others, like Akka van Amara, whatever, is obviously a massive a massive change and a boost for where we were this time last year. Um, <coughs> yeah, from my, yeah. How um, is it? What does it mean for Om eigenlijk soos Ammelman van een Wolk, Akker, Wolko, wat in Noordelijk Alfrond gespeeld het, nou in die span te wat beteken al ervaring te Ja, I mean, ek look, I mean, jy kan maar dink, het is maar goeie ding om hulle te hoor, en, en hulle geef ons goeie raad, bijvoorbeeld dinge wat by Exeter gewerk het, as Janus met ons praat, van leiderskap, of van meetings wat hulle voor die game of na die game gehad het, of hulle stijl van hoe hulle aan, onlering doen van anders, anders spanne, Ik weet, die type IP wat jy krijg is, is, is waardevol. Um, en ek denk die feit dat, soos jy sê, I mean, Akker het baie goed gedoen by Seil. Um, Johannes, I mean, hy het die Premiership en die Heineken Cup gewen met Exeter. Dit is, I mean, dit is a boost vir die span. En, en die feit ook is, wat ek baie gesê het, Koop, is ons ouderdoms, uh, hoe kan ek sê, uh, ouderdomsgroep, Ons het nodig om een paar ouwer man, en ek praat nou van, jy weet, tussen 28 en 30 jaar oud in te bring. Jy weet, ons het Cameron Hannekom en Jan-Hendrik Wessels en, jy weet, en Ludwig, uh, wat, wat jonk is en goed is, maar jy kan nie bekostig om 12, 13, 14 van die spelers te heen nie. Jy weet, miskien kan jy weer kom met een of twee games in die URC, en ek sê dit nie om, om aan een spanne, jy weet, uh, af te skip nie, maar as jy te loos speel in een Heineken Cup game, of jy speel tegen Saracens in een Heineken Cup game, as jy 
12, 13 spelers onder die ouderdom van 22 het, I mean, is dit maar moeilijk. So, soos ek, so ek sê, dit is die, dis die dis die ervaring, dit is die ouderdoms, jy weet, dit is die, die noordelike halfrond kennis wat hulle het, en die feit dat hulle ook, jy weet, hulle is nou, hulle is op een missie om goed te doen met die bille ook, en my moet dit nie onderskat nie, en my, hulle kom hier naartoe, ek het gelees, um, Akker het gesê, ek nie tweede vir jou speel nie, jy het mos geskryf, en ek is blij daar oor, jy weet, ek wil nie, hy kom in en hy is net gelukkig om, my, ek verstaan ook, as jy so kort is en jy speel, jy speel Akker, kan jy nie een houding hee van, luister, ek gaan my kans wacht nie, en dan gaan jy het ook nie maak nie, so, I mean, so, ja, wat ek bedoel is, ek krijg die gevoel, allemaal wat hier so gekom het, wil, wil, wil een aanwins wees, en hulle wil, hulle wil, hulle wil deel doen, en, en ek sien uit, cause, I mean, ek dink het gaan een goeie jaar wees, vir, vooral met die spelers wat ingekom het. Jack, um, the one, the one, probably the one spot you probably a bit thin at the moment for the season, with um, Sheep out, and, and Giannis also out, yes. probably four lock. Yes, um, yes. Any plans for that, or is it just... Yeah, I got a plan, history? I got a plan. No, I have Brent, I got a plan. I'm going to actually, um, I'm, I'm honest, I'm going to probably use uh, Carl Brunk there. I think I'm going to try Carl Brunk there. It's probably this much too short for the ideal situation, but I mean, when it comes to physicality and carrying and cleaning and work rate, you know, I did it with Scott Fardy at the Brumbies. I know Scott Fardy's a little bit taller, but Scott Fardy started as a blindside flanker in my first couple of games of the Brumbies, and then he ended up playing, you know, played four lock for us, and we got to the final of that Super Rugby campaign. So in some way, sometimes it also helps, you know, you try different things. Um, and when you've got, you know, loose forwards like we've got, you know, like as I said, Cameron, Hanekom, and Gumedi, and, and Marcel, and Marku, and Alrich, maybe it's a good opportunity between, for me to try him there as well, you know. So, yeah, so it is, as I said, sometimes you're quite fortunate that the, the, the sort of cards fall in that, in, in that way and I'm quite keen to see what he looks like as a forelock as well. What about Al Alrich as a forelock? Yeah, I just, yeah, I think Alrich's probably quicker and I like to leave him a bit out, but, but and I don't think, yeah, I sort of, one of the promises I made to him when he came here is, is I'm not going to play you lock, you know, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've probably got to be fair to him. Carl might be a grand tall for the Bulls. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, no, he's not, uh, you know, as I said, Kubis, he's not the tallest guy, and, and but we all know what he's like, you know, he tackles. And, and to be fair, what happens then is then you've got like four loose forwards that are running, and, and I'm not taking any away from a guy like Ruan Nokia, because he's also, I mean, mobile and got an engine, but imagine if, if it works, you've got four loose forwards playing in your in your pack of forwards, and a guy like Robbies and a guy like Akker, I mean, that's, that's, that's quite a mobile unit that can play, you know. Cool. Shall we let everybody online? Alright, alright guys.